What's up guys, Name is here bringing you guys a brand new video. I know my last two videos were about six days ago. That is because I was in LA for the Cold War reveal. It was a fantastic time. We'll be talking about Cold War in future videos to come, but for now. Now Kenny's basically calling out Dashy. He used the quote, stop the cap, which basically means a lot of people are lying, Dashy included, about some of the things that happened on this Optic Gaming roster. Uh, I'm gonna watch this video and dissect it with you guys and give you guys sort of my take and my information. He gets on the team. We're like, all right, we're going to play with him. We want to play with TJ. TJ really wants to play with him. Let's do it. And then this Fugazi-ass shit happened where he was trying to join Chicago before we even, like, got to sign or anything. And me and Austin were like, what the fuck? Like, this who I don't want to play with us? And we're like, bro, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. But, like, at, at that point, we didn't want to play with him at first. And then he didn't want to play with us. Which we're like, okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's talk about that a little bit. In the beginning of the season, when Dashy signed to Optic Gaming, uh, basically, he didn't want to play with that team once he got that offer from Chicago. So he signed the contract to join Optic Gaming, but then he wanted to join the Chicago Huntsman shortly after that. And obviously, Optic Gaming putting a lot of money into Dashy, uh, pick, a lot of teams were picking up their roster as well, so they didn't really have time to like give him up and try to find somebody else of his stature. So Dashy put them in a tough situation because, you know, on one hand, it's like we want to play with this guy, he's fantastic, but he doesn't want to play with us. And going into the first year of franchising, you don't want to start off on a bad foot like that right so think about it from the organization standpoint we just invested a lot of money into you man we want you to go 100 and we're invested into building a good solid team around you and you're already trying to leave so dashy uh starting off he wasn't very professional with the squad obviously um if you join a team and you sign a contract that's that you should be committed to that year you should be making a sound decision before you join a team to start the franchise year that's like rule 101 you learn that as a child you don't take things back you say things you mean it and if you commit and sign on paper, you have to commit to it. So off the start, it's a little bit immature and a little bit unprofessional. Which a lot of teams actually weren't. So there's that. So we're for months and uh, we get everybody to LA. Everybody to LA. And keep in mind, I'm speaking nothing but facts. Not, I swear on my life, nothing but facts. So. All right, now Kenny says I'm speaking nothing but facts. And obviously there's two sides to every story, but until the other side comes out, I have to take this as facts. I have no reason not to believe Kenny. So anything that he says right now, I'm gonna believe that he's telling the truth because I don't think he has a reason to lie. TJ Brandon show up late almost like every other day, probably like a few minutes late, but sometimes it was OD. Now, no cap, not, not even capping. Like I said, I still wanna play with cheese. But no cap, people show up late. Cool, it got to a point where like, I personally don't care for it. I'm not like big, like, oh my God, like, but Austin and John, Eric, not playing that. They're like, bro, you got to show up on time, which I always showed up on time. When you're a player on one of these teams that's getting paid a ton of money to play out of a facility and to be on a strict schedule, you have to be on time. There's a reason that there's a time set to be there. It's so everything can start and be fluid so you can get better as a team. It also sort of sends a terrible message to the rest of your teammates if you are late consistently that you don't care as much as them and that their time isn't as valuable as yours. Now, with all that being said, it is okay to be late from time to time. You know, there is traffic. You do miss your alarm sometimes. There are some mistakes. Human an error will kick in but if you are late consistently to the point where it is annoying your teammates you have to fix that and you see Kenny speaking on it right now saying that they were late consistently but he's not mad at Tej about it and he wasn't mad at Brandon it was making the other people angry so if it even makes one person angry you have to fix it for the betterment of the squad I've been seeing I keep seeing that Brandon was hold and put on this main sub he was not hold first of all I have receipts on where I t I had a whole talk with Brandon, me and Eric, where we said we wanted that we wanted Brandon to be our star player. Me, me, me saying this. You know what I'm saying? I have a small little ego where I obviously want to be the star player, but I've gone I've gone into this role player role, and I wanted him to be the star player. Legit, I told him to his face, "Yo, you are going to be our star player. You shoot straighter than a lot of people I know. Only person I probably know that can match you when shooting straight is fucking Samuel Octane." Told him this to his face. No bullshit. I got receipts. And I'm like, bro, you are our player. We need you. Like, fam, what do you want to run? He wants to run main. He wants to run AR. Okay, let's put Brandon on main AR. We put Brandon on main AR. Austin ran flex. We told Brandon literally went into practice the next few days and didn't say no. He, he barely called out. So me and Eric were like, yo, if you're going to run main AR, this is how main AR works. You're going to have to control your subs 
Like he was like, bro, I I like I played a whole like hackney hard point and hackney dumb. I died to top L the whole time. Nobody had my top L. I hate picking it up. Cool. Guess what? I'm like, yo, you tell your sub you tell your sub players to go pick up top L. That's how AR works. You you navigate your subs on where you want them to pick up so you can set up. Bam. He told us that. We go pick up top L. We were still ass. We were still ass. <laughs> Like, keep in mind, it wasn't like, oh, Bandit was just ultra fine on AR. We were still ass. So what the fuck you do? Keep playing, keep being ass. We gave you what you want. He didn't take advantage of it. He barely, like, bro, I am not, I am not talking shit on Brandon. This is literally the fact. I can't not, I'm not, I'm not doing no capping. Brandon showed the scrim, moans to the mics, and barely calls out. And Okay, so Kenny goes into sort of how their scrim process worked and how they're trying to get better at the game. And it sounds like Dashy really was catered to. I mean, Kenny, who has been a star in the last few games, goes to Dashy with her general manager and basically says, we want you to be the star. You are the star of this team. You shoot too straight. We're going to put you in a position to win. And it sounds like they gave him the role that he wanted. They gave him that AR role. They gave him whatever he needed to be in the best position possible. And he was still complaining about certain things. And what Kenny was basically saying is if there's something you need on the map, you need to command your subs and tell them what to do. Now, Kenny has played with a lot of top ARs in the history of his career. I mean, you think back to Octane, to Accuracy, traditionally solid ARs. And he's saying, Dashi, this is what you need to do for your submachine gun players. You need to tell them where you want them and you need to tell them where you need smokes or tacticals. And it sounds like Dashi wasn't able to adapt to this leadership role. Now, according to Kenny, Dashi got on after that and started moaning, complaining into the mic. And, you know, that's definitely not something you want out of a player that you just invested your star power into. You want him to be your best player. You know he has a fantastic shot and you're catering to him. Now, all that time that you just spent catering to this player, he's not respecting it and he's getting on. He's throwing the balance off on the team. Now, I think the reason Kenny is saying all this is because he's looking at what the community is saying and a lot of people are showing Brandon a ton of support and they're throwing a lot of hate towards Optic Gaming LA. And... I'm going to give my opinion on this. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the Optic brand because they follow players like Skump and like Formal, and that is your own opinion. You can have that. But I just look at these guys as players overall. And in the history of their career, Kenny, Slasher, TJ, all these guys, Dash included, they've been fantastic players. And I don't think they deserved as much hate as they got this year. And I feel a bit bad for Kenny being in the position that he's in on a team that, you know, he just joined it. He just signed the contract to play with the players that he wanted to play with. And a lot of people have been throwing them hate. And, you know, Dashi being on that team with Scump and with Formal on the true Optic Gaming, he has a lot of supporters. And a lot of the people on the team seem to give him slack, but they don't give the rest of the guys slack. And Kenny is seeing these things in the community, seeing these things on Twitter, and he just basically wants to address it. So I respect where he's coming from, trying to set the record straight. And people still will probably give him hate after this video. So that's why I kind of wanted to come out and speak a little bit on it, maybe to enlighten some of you guys as to why you should not be throwing hate unless it's warranted. Disrespecting the org, like I seen a, a clip of him be like, I'm on the team, let's go, like, I'm following the team, like, obviously jokingly, but like, you don't disrespect a team, I don't give a fuck who it is, yes, people don't like optic gaming, but you don't disrespect a team that gave you a fucking blessing, like, everybody has a blessing to play this game and be on a team, and you don't disrespect them like that, like, till this day, I appreciate TK for everything they did for me, obviously, like, um, we had, like, our instances where I had hate towards them, and shit didn't go right, but I always appreciate them for the blessing, for putting me like in the spot I am today and give me a chance. That's just now basically what Kenny's referring to is a clip where Dashy sees that he gets released from Optic Gaming on Twitter on their social media accounts. And he responds to it by basically saying, I'm off the team, eh, let's go. Uh, and then he unfollows them and he does it live on stream. And Kenny's basically saying that this is very disrespectful to a team that just catered to you uh, from the team side of things and also signed you to the first year and gave you a lot of money to compete. And it's sort of a slap in the face. And Kenny is saying, as a competitor, you don't do that. You always respect the people that give you a shot and that support you throughout your career. And he's saying, even though you had tough times with TK, he understands and he still respects them for giving him a chance. And I empathize with what Kenny is saying. And the reason I empathize with Kenny is because he doesn't really come out and address things like this unless he's truly passionate about it. I don't remember any time where Kenny's really been involved in some big drama or anything like that. But due to the amount of things that have been coming out about Optic Gaming from this year, Kenny thought he should speak out and I really respect what he's doing right here. Why? This is the, this is the funny thing. Me and Austin can complain the whole year about factual shits. Servers hold us and nobody agreed to the last event. Service holders, um, nobody lists us, shit like that. We get fucking roasted for it. But Brandon don't like the game. 
so it's okay for him not to play the game or try and practice and this is an excuse for people i'm actually mind blown that that's a thing and it actually like is so tilting when people say that because if i didn't like the game nobody cares can you suck so what kenny's referring to is that him and slasher have been vocally outspoken about why they dislike mw and that they didn't like the game uh, but they still grinded and put in a lot of work and you could see it through their progression in the year uh, a lot of people give Dashy slack for not liking the game, and that's why he wasn't as good at this one as he was at Black Ops 4. And he's come out and said, you know, once he was on the bench that he didn't like MW and he wasn't able to put his all into it. But for him, it's sort of this caveat that it's okay for him to not like the game, but for Kenny and Slasher, it's not okay, and that they should be grinding hard because they're getting paid a lot. Well, I agree with Kenny in that every player should be treated the same. Now, I do agree with Kenny. Everybody should be treated equally. All the players, you know, when they're coming out and they're being outspoken about the game, you should judge them by their performance and by how hard that they work. You shouldn't judge them by what they're saying on social media unless it's overboard. But in particular, a player like Slasher and a player like Kenny, they will roast the game and they will talk crap about it, but they will still go very hard in practice. And I know this because their performance got better throughout the year. They were putting in time every single day. And like Kenny said, him and Slasher were never late for practice. So that's something to think about, guys, because you do see it in the community. Some people get passes and some people don't. And I don't think that that's okay. I think every player on our team tried to smoke. I think Cap had to smoke when he was on our team. I had to smoke. TJ had to smoke. Fucking him, he had the smoke. Jaws came out with the smoke on our team, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody hoeing nobody. We're trying to do what works for our team. Literally, during the whole season, I'm trying to get myself benched so our team can win. No bullshit. Me, Austin, everybody's trying to bench, get benched. So, we're trying to get our team to fucking win. We don't, I don't give a fuck about all this, like, fan shit. Obviously, I care for my fans, but I don't care for, like, like, and when I'm losing, bro, all I'm focused on is trying to get my team to win. And rather that be me be ass, like I wasn't good this year, not gonna lie. So yeah, put me on the bench. If that makes our team better, put me on the bench. Wow. So what Kenny just said was very powerful. So what he's basically saying is all he cares about is winning. And while he does care about the fan support, he doesn't care about what the fans will say. And he was willing to bench himself so that their team could get better. And he was saying with the sub smoke, how Dashy came out and said that it was frustrating that they had him running that and sort of laughed about it. Every single player tried it on their team. They were trying to get better as a squad. And that's what a team does. Everybody will try it out till you find the formula that works best for you. And for Optic Gaming, you could see that this frustrated them throughout the year. And then this is what led to Dashy being benched on the squad and that he wasn't a team player. When your team is struggling, you have to all five come together and come to agreements as a unit to get better. That is the only way you're going to get better is if you are on the same page. Now that's going to conclude the video, but pretty much at the end, Kenny talks about how Dashy came in and saved the day and he shows him a lot of love for that. But he said the reason that he's addressing this is because of all the lies and the perception on social media that the team wasn't catering towards Dashy or that the team wasn't supporting him or putting him in the position to excel and he wanted to address all that because he's seeing a lot of lies on social media and rightfully so i think kenny was in the right to make this video to set the record straight he said that usually he wouldn't speak out but he has to when there's a situation like this and people are lying on his name now i think it's the best bet that these guys never team again given that the year did not go well and i do hope that dashy can find more success next year on his new team improve as a teammate start being on time and be a little bit more professional i think that there's a lot of players that can take a lesson from this video and what Kenny was saying that when you're on a team that's struggling you have to go above and beyond to get better you have to be the best teammate that you can be when your team isn't good now it's all fine and dandy to be a fantastic teammate when your team is winning but what do you do when your team is struggling and I think that this showed a lot about Dashy's character this year and he has a lot to work on now with all that being said Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will be back with more of these very soon. And this one, I try to give more insight and more of my opinion. I will be doing that more in further videos to come. But make sure you guys turn that notification bell on. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment with any suggestions. I'll see you guys next time.